Ladies and gentlemen, we'll now begin our main card. This is about three, two minute rounds of glory kickboxing. 135 pound weight limit. The man in charge in the middle of the ring is Wayne Spinola. Introducing first from the blue corner, out of striking 101 from Harlem, New York. Welcome, please, mighty Melvin Lucas. Coming out of the right corner, out of Fusion Martial Arts, from Three Villages, Long Island, welcome please, Theo Cohen! Theo Cohen brought some fans with him tonight. And Melvin Lucas is looking to get underway before the ref even gives the, the signal. And here we go. Melvin Lucas lands the right hand right off the bat, and Theo Cohen looking to work those leg kicks. Again, no feeling out process. Both of them throwing everything. They've got a nice combination from Theo Cohen, lands the outside low kick to finish the combination. Lots of power with these guys. Melvin Lucas caught that kick, threw one of his own, a little bit more of a trip. That will be allowed under glory rules. One strike after catching the kick, and another low kick lands for Theo Cohen. Straight punches by Melvin. Some of them finding their mark, some of them not. And a nice shot to the body by Theo, who's doing a good job of working the legs, body, and the head. Another low kick lands. That outside low kick has been very effective as well as that left hook to the body. Yeah, I like the way he's working the body there. Very nice. Both eating a lot of shots, though, in the process. Yes. And he's setting up those kicks, Matt. He's ending the combination with that right leg kick. Nice side kick. The second one he's landed, the first one, at the beginning of the round, was to the head. Now the pace slowing down just a little bit. If you notice, Lucas' right hand is, is hanging a little lower. He's protecting that rib a bit. Well, you can see the welt. Yes. Look at that. Look for Theo to maybe come up top with that left hook or uh, possibly a head kick. Oh. Two more kicks land. And there's a head kick from Melvin. Theo Cohen trying to back Melvin to the corner. But Melvin defends the strikes, punches his way out, and that's going to be the end of the first round. second round of three touch of gloves and we're underway see some bruising on Theo's left rib as well from those uh, kicks the body kicks from Melvin earlier yeah both men working the body well Ooh, beautiful beautiful low kick lands from Theo but Melvin landed that counter right at the same time couldn't see from our vantage point how cleanly it landed but the leg kick definitely landed hard you can see he really likes that setup with the left hook to the body, followed by the right low kick. Very effective for him. Tonight. And the kick is the one that's landing hard, Matt. Yes. He's not throwing the hook to the body as hard as he can. He's mixing it up. His last shot is the hardest. When he ends with the hook, he puts some power on that. But when he sets the leg kick up with the hook, the leg kick is what's bringing the power. Melvin starting to take some deep breaths with the mouth open. There yeah. it is again. Same combination. Just like he's been doing. You can only take so many leg kicks like that. That's right. Those, those shin pads protect the shin, but they don't so much protect the leg of the guy who's getting kicked. Just a little bit. Landed on the end there. Might have hurt his toes a bit on that yeah, one. Yeah, we, we all heard that smack. I'm not sure if the cameras picked that up, but now... 
Mellon pouring it on a little bit when Theo's against the ropes. The jab, counter with a low kick. So Theo just threw a, a right hand that just did not seem to have anything on it. Ten seconds left in the second round. Who's going to seize the moment? Another low kick and a left hook and another one lands Good with Theo. Good uppercut in that mix as well. And a nice side kick to the head by Melvin Lucas to end the round. Really more of a push than a heavy impact. Again, seems very happy. Smiles all around. Who would you say is ahead on the card, Kyle? You know, I, I think I think Theo Cohen has landed some of the cleaner strikes. I would agree. Uh, particularly in the in the second round, but now both fighters are coming out. Yeah. Looking fresh, looking aggressive and looking to seal the victory. If they can't get a knockout, then they know they need this round to win. If I was either fighter, I would not feel confident that I'm ahead on the scorecards and that I can coast, not by any means. And I think both fighters recognize that and are trying to seize the moment. Yeah, I think you're right. I think Melvin might have taken the first round and Theo might have taken the second, so we could easily be tied right now. There's a knee to the body by Theo. And what I think a lot of this is going to come down to, Matt, is who is less fatigued? Yes. Who has more in the tank to be able to throw volume? Because that's what this fight's been all about. Both guys have been coming forward when they have the chance. Both guys have been throwing a lot of punches, a lot of kicks. There's another low kick. Yeah, this is the round where both men have to dig deep, and whoever can dig deeper might come out with the victory. Now, Melvin is landing some nice combinations as he backs up. Yes. Theo, Theo moving forward. eats a left hook. He's moving forward, but his, his face is taking a beating there, Matt. Yes. Look, again, again. Yes. Uppercut, hook. Again, same combination by Melvin. And Mel most of those punches are landing. Yeah. Melvin There's a bit of an energy burst in uh, round three here. There's a nice knee to the body by Theo, and that kind of slowed Melvin's momentum. Now he's got him in the corner. Another. Another knee. Melvin's driving into him. He's trying to establish that clinch to take a breather or to slow the offense of Theo. That's the beautiful thing about fighting. One one maneuver can change the whole course of the fight. That's it. I believe that was the 10 second clapper. Now they're fighting in the phone booth for just a moment. Oh, and that left hook clipped Melvin on the draw. Stumbled him back for a second. And that's the end of the round. Theo raises his hands in victory. He may very well have done enough to earn the judge's decision. Hard to say, though. Hard to say, absolutely, Matt. Judges scorecards, all three judges scored the same winner. They had a 29-28, 29-28, and 30 to 27 winner by unanimous decision. He came out of the red corner. Theo Cohen. Cohen now bout winner.
But Theo Cohen comes out victorious at a fusion martial arts. Melvin Lucas not happy with the decision. It was definitely a close fight. They both had their moments. And it's tough for the fighter, Matt, right? When you feel that you've landed all those punches. It is. I hate to see a fighter not shake the other fighter's hand after, despite yeah. the decision. Yes, agreed. That's not uh, what we do as martial artists. Here at GMI, our goal is your peace of mind. Secure and protect your property investment from all forms of risk. Competitive home insurance rates for all types of coverage. Theft, fire, storm damage, and liability. Our goal is to find the right coverage to fit your needs. Contact us and start saving today. GMI. If you own it, we'll cover it.